see it. Welcome. If you are watching this later on YouTube, uh, welcome to our stream. We are about to start a big project. This is a three-piece wheel design for Miatas. And so what that means is we are designing a, the center of a three-piece wheel. During this stream, we're going to kind of cover the entire process. So this might be a multi-day stream. You might see uh, this as part one of our videos, you can call that. Uh, during this, some people may interact and they'll see me talk to them and maybe we'll even get off, off topic or whatever the case may be. But essentially our goal here is to start with what we call a 555 design theory or method, design method. Uh, so to understand that, let's, let's kind of walk through that. So we've got our three-piece wheel data here. This is what we want to start with. This is where we're going to begin. Um, and this gives us certain sort of context. We know that we're making a two-piece sandwich mount wheel, meaning uh, there is a lip, there's another lip, and between them, sandwiched in, is the face of the wheel. Those are the three parts. We have the front lip, the rear lip, and the center of the wheel the, that bolts onto the, the, um, the car. Those are the three parts. And it's this sandwich construction type. We've got an 8-inch width, so the wheel is going to be 8 inches wide with a 15-inch diameter. Uh, the hub is going to fit a Miata. They use 4 by 100, so a 100 millimeter bolt circle. Uh, a couple things we're going to use that I, I only design wheels with pressed in steel lugs. I don't like aluminum valve or aluminum uh, lug seats. I don't like that. It's not, I don't like it. So we're not going to, I refuse to provide designs uh, that, that are like that. Um, our offset of our wheels are going to be 25 mil. So from center, they're, they're actually the face of the wheel is going to, if you leave the face of the wheels center, we're going to move the hoop or the, the lip of the wheel back. So if we have our wheel like this, we've got our center, we're moving the whole tire back 25 millimeters. The face is essentially 25 millimeters closer to the outside of the car. That's the, the offset. Our hub bore, uh, how big of a center we have to drill in the hole in the center is gonna be 54.1 millimeters. I don't know our overall face, face diameter, but that's totally variable, that's okay. Uh, we will be using uh, a face inner diameter of nine inches. It's actually really small for a 15 inch wheel. It has to do with the type of lips we're using. We're using um, a North American made lip, which is mostly designed for oval track racing. And so they have a standardized center size for both 13 and 15 inch wheels. Um, so nine inches is actually really small, but that's okay. We can, give us a good opportunity to build a very strong center. Uh, we have variable thicknesses that we can use. So we can use one and a half, one, one and three quarter, or two inch thickness, essentially. We could even go outside of those, but those are just some thicknesses we can use. Uh, the reason we want to use, like make some choices about those thicknesses, or at least dedicate the one, is it's easy to do the math when I when I am instead of just making one wheel. If I made 300 of them, how much material am I going to use? Am I going to use, uh, you know, if it's a nine-inch disc, well, it's probably going to be 10-inch or 10 and a half-inch disc when it, when we go finish using the stock that we're using. And then we've got to figure out how much of that disc are we going to use, how big of a column of aluminum. Um, our flange thickness is a half inch, that's pretty standardized. So on the front of the wheel we might use a 2 inch lip, on the back we might use a 5.5. With the sandwich mount it equals 8 inch. Uh, we've got a flange bolt circle, we have number of bolts and the type of bolts we're going to use. So most of this is uh, pretty simple. Um, but we're going to use uh, the the 555 design method. <clears throat> what do you mean by that? I've never heard of that before. And that's okay, you haven't heard it before. I've never heard of it before. Um, it's something I'd like to try during the stream. That's kind of why we're recording this, is to see how that goes. Uh, what I mean by 555 is that uh, we're gonna create, uh, well, we can take a look. I actually wrote all this down, so let's take a look at this. Um, uh, so we've got, uh, part one is our structural exploration. So we're gonna create five wheels five basic centers of a wheel. And by that, I mean that we're going to make um, uh, five basic centers of a wheel that um, we can test each center for two types of loads here. One second, I forgot to update our speedy road chat who wants to keep an eye on this stream. Today's stream has begun. Today's Miata design stream has begun. Cool. So 
So, yeah, we're gonna basically build five simple constructed shapes of a wheel center. All of them in various, like very, like in different, um, different setups or different structures. And we're gonna stress test those in two ways. We're gonna stress those radially, so the wheel spinning this way, and I guess we'll call torsionally or laterally the wheel bending this way. So when I accelerate from like, let's say a start or a stop, or, or even stopping the car, um, the wheel's gonna twist this way. And so I really wanna make sure that it doesn't deform the spokes or twist or anything like that. Additionally, when I go around a corner, let's say I, I go around a corner, or if I were to catch a, a curb or an edge, uh, the wheel's gonna bend this way. So I need to figure out what's the strongest this direction and the strongest this direction. Yeah. Once we've done all those tests, we'll then, um, get our stress test computer going here. I'm just getting set up. So we'll get started here. But yeah, we're gonna stress test all five designs and pick the best design from there. That'll give us an opportunity to uh, then tweak that design further. So that's that's the first five. We've gone through part one. We tried five ideas of what we thought might be the strongest shape. Uh, we'll get some data or results back on that. And then we're gonna focus on one of those designs. So whichever one is gonna give us the best uh, distribution of force at the lowest lowest like weight or at least material used is going to be best for us and then we can build five versions of that so we're going to try to that that design's still going to have some problems and so we're going to try to solve those problems in five different ways and then we're going to re-stress stress test those five new designs and so that'll give us an opportunity to um, maybe experiment or explore in those solutions and we don't have to commit to one, one solution without knowing the data. So uh, we'll stress test all five of those. Again, uh, radially um, or axially, however you want to call it, and then torsionally as well. We'll, we'll stress test all those, and from there we can then determine which one's the best. So that's the first five, the second five, and then our final five, this is a wheel that might need to be sold to the public. And so that can be a problem if we're not providing a very aesthetically pleasing wheel. So we've achieved the function at this point. We've achieved what we consider a very strong or uh, viable wheel. And we don't have to be limited to those five. We can expand it further if needed. Let's say there's a, an issue or a problem uh, that, we, we, that comes up or arises. We can do more than five if we need to, but for the most part, five will be great for us. Uh, the final five will be an aesthetic application. So we're going to look at those last five and we're going to say, hey, you know what? Uh, we've picked the one of the first, we, we went through the first five, found the best design. We then further tweaked that design, picked the best one of those five, and then we're going to build five aesthetic versions. So maybe one's pink, one's blue, maybe one's got stickers, one doesn't, maybe one's got like a cool stripe through it, whatever the case may be. Uh, we can then do five versions, uh, visual versions, versions that like we're trying to get to look best and then pick from there. Uh, that will be our final design. So that's our five, 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 is we're gonna do five um, rough ideas, five specific ideas, and then five aesthetic ideas. And hopefully we'll emerge with a really good wheel at the end of it. Uh, it is possible that we don't. That is actually possible. Um, but we'll keep this initially crude to start with. So it'll be very basic. It'll be very simple to, at the very beginning. And then from there, we can open it up. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the idea. Uh, you might hear me repeat this information. We're gonna have some people pop into chat or pop out of chat, and that's gonna be part of the video. And I'm, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Sorry about that, but <laughs> you're gonna have to deal with it. So, um, yeah, let's get started here. So we've got a bit of a checklist here. This checklist is designed to just keep me on track. So there's something that's not even on the checklist yet. We want to create a project folder. Let's dive in there first. So we've got our, our Miata. Um, we've got part one, five. We've got part two, five. And we've got part three, five. There we go. So these five here are going to be our different folders that we're gonna use. <laughs> oh, one second here. Cool. 
Uh, so yeah, um, that'll give us some some basics here. We do want to create. So let's let's dive into some SolidWorks here. Let's create some stuff. Let's already start making files. So, first thing we know is that we've got a 54.1 millimeter uh, center board. We're going to divide it by two. Let's give us the radius here. Awesome. We have a 100 millimeter bolt circle, and I just know from memory the 0.55 inch wheel inserts. Okay. Now, we do have a nine inch face ID. This is m the biggest that the face ID can get. And then we're gonna have a 9.75 by two, but this will be inches, bolt circle, and we're gonna use M8 bolts. So this should be four millimeters. I'm gonna use 15 of these. So let's spin this around at 15. There we go. Cool, so we have a rough this is essentially just a two-dimensional drawing of all the holes you have to drill on this thing. Um, let's set a couple of these at construction values. Not because we're going to use this file for anything other than visual cue, but it makes my brain look a little, a little bit easier on my on myself here. Uh, one thing I will do here is... Actually, we'll just do that. Yeah. SolidWorks actually has a very subtle gradient in the back here, and it shows more on Twitch for some reason. And I'm on my monitor, I don't notice it, but I can see it on my on my monitor monitor. My monitor monitoring my monitor. <laughs> Release the demons. Okay, so, got a rough here. What are some of the things I want in my rough here, though? So we wrote that down. Uh, so we want brake measurements. We want our rim profile in the diagram as well. And we want to create a template file. So we're starting the template. Uh, we do want to create radial and torsional axes. So let's do that right away here. Well, don't care about my phone right now. Heck off, phone. All the, all the phones are doing weirds right now. Bing, 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 bing. Leave me alone. It seems that anytime I'm designing or doing any sort of Twitch stuff, it's like ding, 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 ding on my phone. <sighs> Stresses. Okay. Uh, let's create some radial and torsional axes. So, while we're on this drawing, might as well create an axis. There we go. And we will use this to create... Um, actually, I want to create another drawing. My brain likes our axis to be... There we go. So we're going to create some axes here. What this is, is it's a way of telling the program, I want to spin this, spin things around this. This is essentially the center of the, the Ferris wheel. That's our axis one. Uh, I am going to create another axis though. This is gonna be our axis two. We'll use this later for stress testing. There we go, awesome. And we don't need to see this sketch. Cool. So there are axis, axis eyes. Da -da. Awesome. File save. We're going to start this up as our um, three piece FM3 uh, template. This is an early version of our template file. We still have some more stuff to create here, so we're going to close that up. Let's get into. Uh, hmm. I'm on the hunt here. These are the files I want. Um, okay. So I got a plan here. This is essentially a rough of the wheel that we're gonna build. Uh, sadly though, this is a 13 inch and not a 15 inch. So we want to make some changes to this in order to achieve that. 
Um, this is a represent. This is an official file sent by the company. But let's just evaluate to make sure that this is actually a nine inch diameter. Yep, there we go. Cool. So that seems pretty simple. Uh, so we're gonna have to do some work here. Do a little bit of work. Do your work. Do work, son. We're gonna have to extract some data from this. Which is totally okay. This may not be the best way to extract data from this. I don't know a better way because I am not an engineer. I will tell you that right now. I am a person who has self-taught themselves how to do this. Which means that you can learn to do this too, but <laughs> make sure you're careful. Okay. Hey Dave, welcome to the stream. You're just joining in. You are the first to join, welcome. Um, we are starting our work on a very big project, which is to design some Speed Hero wheels. Um, these are designed for a client or customer. Um, who wishes to create wheels for a Miata. So the purpose of our stream is sort of document how this is going. Okay, we're gonna copy this. File new and part. Uh, you know what we can do? We can open up our template. Just dump it there. So we're gonna dump this here. Here we go. Ta dung. Sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got. Now I think that will be our. Hmm. Interesting. So that'll be our front lip. We're gonna have to invent a rear lip here because um, I have a feeling that lip is, well, so far it's not correct for us anyways because we need a 15 inch lip. Um, we're gonna use this as a reference for now because I don't have a 15 inch lip from the company. I don't want to play with that too much. Sweet. Okay. Um, one thing we do need to create is our brake clearance. Now, that reminds me, I've got to make a, send a message here. So let's do that now. Let's send a message. Communicating with customers is Sometimes difficult, sometimes easy. So during the weekend, I took the opportunity to measure a Miata. Um, And so this, this particular Miata had the biggest factory brakes possible available for the car. It was, uh, this, these wheels are to, to be designed for a first generation Miata, an NA Miata. Uh, but this person had N NB2 brakes on it, so the second uh, generation, well, essentially the, the facelift version brakes. Um, Mazda Speed, Mazda Speed Miata would be uh, the one that you're thinking of. So an NB second generation Miata, uh, the Mazda Speed actually had bigger brakes than any of them. This car had. Um,
we go. Okay, we've sent him the message. All right, let's jump back in. Sweet. Um, so yeah, we're gonna design a break profile now. This break profile is kind of how we, um, if I were to, uh, if I were to design the wheel and I put it on the car and it, it hits the brakes, that's no good. So we wanna consider that right away, right at the start, just get, check that off the list, say, hey, you know what? I thought about all the brakes. Um, I know what brakes is going to clear, and it's gonna work. Uh, the nice thing is there is a lovely, one of the people that follows Speed Hero, one of our patrons, if you if you wanna be on our patrons, you can check us out. Underneath the, uh, the main screen here, you're gonna find some links to our patron. One of our patrons is a, has an N, N A Miata, and this, this is good this might these might fit his car really well so i'm excited that way as well uh, he's tried to work with us on speed hero wheels in the past uh, so this might be a good opportunity to connect better with him so i'm excited um cool so let's build i took out some measurements uh, we're gonna leave that lip for now and let's create a new thing so uh, just to kind of give you an idea of how my brain works these are some, some drawings that I made. You can't quite see them, but some rough ideas of, of basically, there's a there's a peen up there if you want to see a peen, and there is some booty time. Those were uh, given to me on the piece of paper that I borrowed, so uh, those were donated by a, a lovely follower here. Hi, welcome Jazzabug, good to see you. We're designing some wheels today, so this won't be a racing stream, uh, but this will be an informal stream, maybe a bit slower than, than maybe you would, would expect. But do it feels good. You're welcome to hang out as long as you want. Good to see you back, by the way. Um, so minus the, the, the peen on here, uh, we have some measurements of our Miata brakes that we're gonna use. We're gonna create a profile here. We wanna sweep this profile or spin it around so that to see how it's gonna interact with our lips. So let's get that in there. Um, go. <laughs> um, if during the stream the music isn't good, you can always let me know. We can we can bump it up or we can bring it down. Ah, okay. Let's do some sketches here. So, um, I'm gonna interpret my drawing here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make some mistakes with this, which is totally okay always make changes so smart to mention that that should be 180 millimeters why did that change no hey thanks for dropping in by the way <laughs> you're always welcome to hang out uh, we'll have more racing streams in the future so if you have any questions and stuff like that, but anytime that you have automotive related questions, you're like, hey Quinn, what the heck is this? Uh, we can always figure that out. This feels like, why, what's happening here? Okay, something's going on with my drawing and I don't want this stuff to be affected, so. That should be nine inch, yeah. Thank you, you too, have a really good day. Sweet. Yeah, there should be a new Jacqueline video out soon as well. She's she's just working on it. We had a drift day the other day. Go. Now we can smart to mention this. There we go. First thing we want to do is we want to essentially create the uh, drum here. So this here should be how tall is our hat? Our hat is 25 millimeters tall, so we'll make it 25 mil. We'll tell it, yeah, hey man, that's 25 mil. And it's like, okay, cool, no problem. But we're gonna also tell it from here to here that it is supposed to be 138 divided by two. There we go. 
69. Oh my. Oh. Cool. From there, we can create our next. Ah! Panico. We're simulating the brake disc here. So, this boy to this boy should be. Five, so that's our brake disc. Awesome. And now we can create our caliper. Our caliper is our clampy boy. It's a squeezy guy. We have a disc. It goes by. It rotates. And our squeezy guy pinches and slows it down. As it goes through, it's like, ah, eh. That's how your brakes work. That's it. It's just pinching. <laughs> if you're ever curious, how does my brake work? It's just pinches. Cool. So let's create our pinch here. This mic, actually not doing anything. It's this guy down here. Wow. Uh, da -da, da -da. So how far does this stick out? 32 mil. Hmm. That's eyeball some Miata brakes. I don't remember the Miata brakes sticking out further, so I'm a bit confused. Should have taken some pictures of the brakes at the time. That would have made sense. Always take photos. Okay. Auto zone. You're in auto zone. Yeah, I want to see unmodded brakes. I love how all these are like, yeah, I've got bought new brakes and they fit bigger. And then... hmm. I did it myself. Those are rear brakes. I want front brakes. Ooh, those are nice looking ducks. Good ducks. So side note, if you're building a race car um, and you're running brake ducks, the goal here is to cool the hub. The reason being is there's a concentration of heat at the hub. There's so much buildup there. You want to keep it as cold as possible. That hub heat, aluminum's an asshole when it comes to heat. It's really good at being light, but it doesn't cool very quickly, which is really annoying. And so what ends up happening is a lot of heat builds up at the hub of your car. And then it radiates up the spokes. 
and eventually distributes itself to the tire. And that sucks balls. The reason being it sucks balls is that uh, ends up. We're going to send some more messages here. This is all part of the design process, which is slow and annoying, but fun. Tire heat is the worst heat. That's what I'm looking for. It's the front or the booty. This looks like a front brake. So these brakes definitely look different than the ones we were looking at on the uh, the NB. Uh, the caliper is visually different, but it does look like the caliper protrudes out, so it actually sticks out. So my measurement is correct. My drawing, my hand drawing is incorrect. Uh, let's take a look. NB Miata brakes. Let's take a look at NB. Just out of curiosity, those are rears. Those boys, those will would stick out. Who boy, do they get close. Okay. That's... Post up your brake setups. Heck yeah, I want to see that shit. Heck yeah. Also, these are ugly. Oh my god. Oh my god, those are an ugly wheel. Maybe they're strong, but they ugly. Oh boy. Who boy. Got some rears on that guy. I want post up your brake setups. Wait, 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 wait. Corrado rotors, sp sport rotors in the rear. ULT brake pads. Interesting. Okay, more picks, please. Yeah, hit me on them picks. This looks more like the stuff we measured, so that's interesting. Whoa, what drag stuff. Drag racing trash. Okay. Yeah, it seems like the calipers do actually set out further. than the wheel mounting surface, which kind of sucks. I don't like that. Yeah, 1.8 setup. Yep, yep, it sticks out. Okay, so my 32 millimeter measurement is correct. I just uh, wanted to make sure.
This is some tricky stuff, actually. Though. That's frustrating. That's about right. And there we go. So this is essentially our brake rotor shape. Ooh, it's gonna be tricky. Ooh, she's gonna be tricky. So this is why you do your measurements ahead of time. So we can already tell that our, our lip here is going to be a conflict. We can't run a zero offset. Uh, or, um, yeah. We're gonna have to run a really small front lip and a really big rear lip. Okay, so let's take our lip sketch. We're gonna, we're gonna finish this. Let's take our lip sketch and move it below. There we go. Let's make some adjustments to this, because we already know this is not correct for us. So let's evaluate. Let's measure from about here to here. Music? Nani? aren't charging. Great, zero to 10. Okay. Uh. Open complaint about USB-C. <laughs> always full of gunk and don't actually fit well. Zero to 10. All right, well, we'll run these headphones until they die. Okay. Oh, I was doing a measurement. What is this guy? 6.47. Two. Yeah, 12.94, 12 so that is 13 inch. Okay, so move this out. So we've gotta do some sketch movements here, so move into these. There we go, we're gonna move one inch. Nope. Nope. Okay, now should be good there. There we go. Cool. So we're just approximating some wheels here. This is not real, by the way.
this is there to the parallel. Okay, and um, these guys. Well, let's give this example here. This is three mil. So this guy here should be. Nope. Oh, you're kidding me. Kidding me. You know what? We'll do it this way. That was way easier. I don't know why SolidWorks wanted to make that tough. a rough radius like that. And this one here. I don't know why. Uh, what are we doing? Let's do a two mil. For now, that'll do. Cool. Now, this face doesn't have to actually be here. This is, what size of lip are we looking at here? We're looking at a three inch lip. Okay, so it could be a two inch lip, it could be maybe something else, but we need to figure out our lips here. That is an ugly lip, by the way, but it is probably similar to what the lip will look like. Um, so we're going to edit this sketch some further. This guy needs to be eight inches. There we go. Midpoint this guy. zero offset and we want to find plus 25 so um fine evaluate this one's gonna be 25 mil
있네요. 2.5 inch. There we go. There we are. So we've got a two and a half inch lip there. That'll clear our brake clearances. Whoo, she's gonna be tricky. Hoo hoo. Oh my oh. Oh my oh. Uh, we're going to do this. Mirror entities, mirror about here. There we go. Five mil on that. Yo. Yeah. 
the rough lip shape. It's not beautiful. So let's take a look here. Uh, what I want to do is set these to have some colors to them. So we're going to add some colors in this guy. We'll do this guy in pink. Look at that. Pinky. I'll do this guy in red. There we go. Awesome. So we've got some rough brake clearances here. This is, uh, we're going to call this a bit wild here. I have a feeling this is very unrealistic to our final shape of our lips. So. though is we'll take a photo of this and send it to our client and we we'll go hey man uh let's cover <laughs> let's cover the tops of that <laughs> i don't know if my my client will enjoy uh peen jokes in there but Flash going on here, yeah, for sure we'll need that flash. No, no, flash on for sure. There you go. Make sure you communicate well with your clients. process. So if we get all this information set up early uh, and correct at the start, then any of the design stuff we do afterwards will uh, flow really well. But it's getting this first little bit set up that's ch -ch -ch tricky. So the, the biggest part of this that's going to be tough is that our, um, our barrels have a very strange shape to them. Let's see if we can find some more information on that because that'd be great. One of the hardest parts about designing wheels, and this is 
I mean, if you're if you're paying attention, this is this is kind of an interesting thing. Is that one of the hardest things to to do when designing wheels, especially three piece wheels. This only applies to three piece wheels. Ah, other wheels as well. But is getting lip information. Like, hey man, um, I just need. I, I'm designing for your company. I want to buy your your lips to fit my wheels. No problem. I would love to sell your lips. They reply. And you're like, okay, just send me a CAD drawing of the lip that I'm trying to buy. Oh, we don't have those. I mean, you don't have those. We don't share those. Well, how am I supposed to design a face to fit your lips? So, yeah, struggling, struggling. Okay, let's get in here. We're looking at some lips here, digging in, and I'm immediately frustrated. And I'm not a math guy. I'm a Digging through some information here. Trying to find some information. This is wild trash. So I'm feeling a little frustrated and a little lost right now. If you were to kind of jump into me, this is an unacceptable lip shape. <laughs> I will tell you that. Um, this lip here and the way this brake sticks out is a little bit excessive. Um, it is likely that the uh, caliper won't stick out this much. We're actually considering a singular bolt. The way uh, the Mazda Speed caliper is bolted is annoying it's got a it's got a, a banjo style bolt that it bolts to uh -huh. and so we have to consider that it's the what sticks out the most and can't be adjusted or, or played with from there so um yeah we got some problems here either way let's get into some faces here i really hate this lip though and <sighs> i'm not sure what to do about it Let's make some adjustments here. Really wish I had some better information. That just doesn't feel like it's the right shape for that.
Like, I strongly feel that. Ugh, heck, you! I don't. I want to adjust this. I strongly, strongly feel like this will be something like this. Problem is, I'm just making it up in my brain. I'm not going by actual dimensions, which is not ideal, to be honest. Play around a little bit. Let's heck about. Okay. That's not what I wanted at all, but you know, cool. We have a rough lip shape. It's a shit lip shape. It's a rough one, but it's shit. <laughs> it is likely that we'll clear the exact break, but yeah, not stoked. Not stoked. This will actually have to be smaller anyways. Oh, so. thought maybe we could get a general profile done today and so I really need to figure out our lip shapes because this is if it's plus 25 we're at plus 25 right now Essentially needs to be zero offset for this to work. Also, we're not even at sandwich mount. Ugh, this is garbage. Okay, well, we'll file save this. Here's some of the problems I'm having. So I'm really worried about brake clearance on this particular um, face size. What I mean by that is the diameter of the face is too small. In order to get the 15 inch tire onto a nine inch face, we're really gonna have to fill that all out with lip, which is no problem. The problem with, the, which is no problem in theory, I guess, is what I wanted to say. The the big problem that comes up here is that 
We have to figure out the shape of the lip. Our brakes are huge on this particular car. Um, and so we're having some issues with that. Having some conflicts. Our current, our current face design is unrealistic. What I mean by that is there's no way this could exist in real life. Uh, the, 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 sorry, the lip, our lips, our front and rear lips just can't exist. They're not, they're not realistic. Meaning we need a more realistic face size to clear our very large brakes. Uh, the original Mazda speed wheels are 17s. And so to fit a 15 over here is aggressive. It's possible. Uh, and the car that we took the measurements from was fitting did have 15s on it so it is possible but this particular lip design that had been been given from uh, our lip supplier won't work and so this is a really important part of this design process we could do our five five and five which are still the goal here uh, but it would be kind of a waste of time if we're gonna have to run a larger face design um, change the sketch color to get dark. Cancel. So we run into, the problem we run into is we either have to run a really, really, really flat face uh, lip on the 15 inch wheel, which is possible, but maybe not desirable. It may not uh, add, it may not add structure to our wheel. Um, if anything, it's actually gonna reduce strength to run such a flat lip. Um, we're also going to have to run a really short, small lip, so like a one inch wide lip. What I mean by that is from the, the edge here, where our tire mounts over, is going to have to be only one inch. Where the larger it is, there's kind of a nice window where there's a little bit more strength. A two and a half, great. A, a ten inch wide there, probably a little soft. So we want to find a nice window, but one seems uh, a little bit narrow from, not from a, a radial strength perspective, but from a torsion strength perspective, uh, having a, a one inch plate of three or four millimeter uh, aluminum is very flexy. Uh, so we want to have some cuts, some bends or some curvature to that, so that it has something to resist the flex. And having such a straight up and down uh, wheel, or straight up and down lip will, of uh, that distance is going to make it really weak and shitty. So that sucks. Uh, so. What I need is from our lip manufacturer an updated profile for that, an updated drawing. And so I'm gonna have to communicate to this good to the customer, which is frustrating, to say the least. So I gotta find the best way to, to communicate this. I'm thinking here. Hmm. Let me jump back in the chat. If I'm missing chat, I'm sorry. I have it a little bit closed here. Or uh, not visible. Just because I'm doing some thinks. Wow, this pretzel rocks is annoying, by the way. It'd be nice if it was like every once in a while, like, hey, music brought to you by Pretzel Rocks. Like, no problem. But it's like, ding, 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 every 30 seconds. I feel like I don't like this service.
There we go. Let's see how that works. Cool. All right. Hmm. Nani? See if we can connect with our <laughs> Good day, Chris. We are having some conflicts of interest here. I'm having trouble finding a lip design here uh, from our Kaiser files that's going to clear our breaks here. So I, I might need some more updated profiles from the company in order to get a more accurate uh, guesstimate, if that makes sense. Nope, we're gonna try this again. Looks like our lip profiles from Kaiser are not working for me, so we're gonna need some updated files specifically in the 15 inch range and we're probably going to need only a one inch front lip which is going to be very tall and weird uh, to clear our break so yeah just trying to connect you there there we go so we've sent that <sighs> i don't know what to do about this i want to create a good wheel for this but i don't want to spend any time working on something that's not going to work well for us. So that's a bit strange. I'm feeling a little lost in this moment. Hmm. Feeling a little stupid if I if that makes sense. Let's update our, our let's update our So a couple things I'm typing is just to understand where our day one was. Our current conflict is our lip drawings don't match our desired project. So 
Uh, where our limited factor is that uh, our large breaks are going to conflict with the uh, with the the barrel of the wheel. So that kind of sucks. Um, so we can solve that in two one of two ways. Uh, A is let's do this. Uh, We could run a face, uh, a larger face than the nine inch face. So we could run a larger face, coming a little bit closer to our 15 inch desired goal, like a uh, 12 and a half inch face or something like that. Or we could run a very narrow front lip. So we, yeah, so this is our current conflict on day one. And we've got our possible solutions. So. Um, of our pre-check list, we have, uh, we could put in, let's see here, um, okay, let's do this. So we've, we've done those things there. We've got our checklist. We've checked these guys off saying we've used our brake measurements to create clearance diagrams for our brakes. We've created a rim profile diagram, but those didn't really quite kind of turn out. Um, so yeah, we're gonna save this here. Day one, sadly we put in 1.5 hours on this to find out that yeah shit sucks <laughs> it's not working things are things are we have some conflict here we have some binding and that's no good so we're gonna have to find a new solution for this <sighs> so I'm not sure where we're gonna be at with this uh, I'm gonna have to maybe do some phone calls offline to find out more. Um, yeah. Our brakes are in the way. A 16 inch would solve this? We'd have to really run a really big face, like a 13 and a half inch face or something like that. Which, the larger diameter uh, the face is, the overall face, the more expensive it gets. The reason being is we have to buy stock in that. And, it, and what I mean by that is we have to buy a round diameter of aluminum in not just a, a certain height, but rather a really tall height. Um, the thicker that gets, the more material we're buying, which is fine, except um, some materials are sold more. It's like going to the store and buying screws. You can buy, you know, an M8 size screw, an 8mm screw, uh, a lot cheaper than maybe an M7. Even though the 7 is smaller diameter, there's more manufactured M8s than M7s. M7s aren't really desired or, or sort of very commonplace. So even though the larger diameter of the 8 should be more expensive, it's not. It's produced more. And so there are certain diameters of, of aluminum stock that are used more commonly. Uh, a 10 inch stock is used very frequently. There is tons and tons and tons of people using 10 inch stock, but a nine and a half or an 11 inch stock might be way more expensive. Even though it's smaller or bigger, there's very few people purchasing those sizes. And so we're trying to maximize our costs, um, maximize our strength, maximize our looks, um, and maximize our weight. And, and sort of balance all those things out. So we've got to, I gotta to talk to my client a little bit more, knowing that we have some conflicts with our wheel here. Cool. So I'm gonna probably call the stream there for now. I might, this, these these parts or these streams are gonna come up here and there, they're gonna be random. 
because I've got to work with the information I have at the time. So um, if you were hanging out with us, thank you very much for, for checking out our part one. We're going to add a bunch of parts to this and you're going to see the whole process of this, um, including the frustrations like now. <laughs> and so, yeah, uh, let's call the stream here. Thank you for hanging out. If you want to follow more, uh, just hit that follow button up there. Uh, if you were curious about other stuff we've done, other big design projects, you can check out the speedhero.ca website. Um, or if you like some of the stuff that we do and you want to make sure I eat sandwiches every day, you can always hit that Patreon. Cool. Okay. Bye. Thanks for hanging out.